What's up, YouTube? I'm KT. We're taking an Edison look. I'm saying right now, if you always walk and you create your own style, if you are the individual or the type of person that likes to switch up, if people catch on to the way you dress or the way you maneuver or the way you talk, then that means you're a chosen one. You're an original. You're not trying to siphon information and steal energy. That way you can play rather than play it as yours. You're not trying to do that. You're not trying to look and watch and stalk and get information. That way you can utilize it to your own. While at the same time trying to get others or trying to, what's it called, bring others down mentally. Change them so that way they don't recognize who they are. You're not that type. You're the type that pour into people and lift people up. You are a healer. You like to heal people. You like to make people feel good about themselves versus the opposite. That's how you could tell what it is. The proof is always in the pudding, yo. The pudding never lies. Yo, and also, man, um, I accidentally... Um, Deleted a really good comment on my latest video. Narcissists are trying to steal and copy you. Like, I'm talking about word for word, wardrobe for wardrobes. So if you're watching this right now, yo, my apologies, yo. Go ahead and put the comment back. I would never delete a comment that's genuinely authentic. There was just some really, really bad comments that was not true. Because if they were true, I would be owning that shit. I would be walking in that power. But of course, in order for people to get an emotional response for you, they like to put the opposite because they know that's not your character. They know that's not you. So a person will project how they really feel on the inside. So if a person says, yo, I'm not a liar, chances are they're, they're a liar. Especially if they came out the woodworks and do it. Now, if it's just like stagnant, like clear water, and you make the first move, and obviously there's some guilt there that's not true. But if a person starts something and then says that's not what they are, that's exactly what they are. You need to take it for what it is. People do not want to tell the truth these days. People, most people do not want to tell the truth. But the chosen ones do. Chosen ones because they are true. They walk in their authentic true self. That's why they express themselves. Physically, the way they dress, mentally. You cannot keep a chosen one in a box, like from expressing itself. You cannot. Those are the ones that are the new wave leaders. Those are the ones that are the trendsetters. Those are the ones that goes and be themselves and not care about what people think. If a person, if people, well, person plural if people are trying to laugh at this individual for being themselves that's because they're not themselves and the only sort of expression that they feel comfortable to exhibit is a laughter because then they want to give off the false reality that they're really happy when they're not if a person is not we get the vibe you already know when people try to laugh, when they're, they're going to laugh and, <laughs> and smile when they're uncomfortable. But because they're trying to give off the opposite of what they really feel. That is why you see right through and you just choose to not entertain that. And you can entertain it by many different ways. By clumping people into the same category as you. By allowing them to constantly copy your style to try to feel the same energy or they just want to feel the same energy grade as you right so it's like an energy harvesting thing so what people do is that people that really idolize you they will siphon your style your words your per will try to siphon your personality but they can't steal that right and then those are the people especially if they don't give you show you any gratitude or give you any compliments right those are the people that despise you watch out listen the people that copy you and does not give you any shout out, doesn't give you any gratitude or compliment you or, you know, how we say, you know how when you plagiarize something, you steal it, right? But a person that doesn't plagiarize, they give credit to that person who created that. If they don't give you credit, they despise you. It is completely above and beyond that. Now, if they don't give you, look, if they don't give you any of that, they completely despise you. They Jealousy and envy is demons. They got them all on them. So they're gonna copy you because they're they're vibing your style. They want to be you, they want to idealize you, they want to be, they want to steal your essence, but they will not give you credit. They won't. Those are the people that you watch out for. Those are the people that are behind scenes looking you up and watching you and gossiping about you. Those are the people. Watch out. Now I think it's about time. The total ones start wearing, you know, suit and ties. You know what I'm saying? Dress up, you know. People take us a little more serious. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're ever experiencing anything, yo, just dress up. If you only have, like, a G in your pocket, 
go buy some clothes. Go, go and dress up and look fancy if you can. Look, go buy some clothes. Go and dress up because at that point you got to dress and impress. You know what I'm saying? Don't just splurge that thousand dollars without investing in your wardrobe. Even my man Kevin Samuel said it. All you need is four pair of pants and four shirts and four ties and you can have like 21 suits with that. Maybe less or maybe more suits and ties. But that's at least like six, seven suits. Switch up colors, you know, pants, shirt ratio. You good to go. You increase your wardrobe. So these people are only causing you to grow and evolve because no longer will you try to blend in by wearing plain solid colors. No longer are you trying to just, you know, be neutral, walk without being seen because you know people will feel some kind of way. Most of the time people will envy you and exhibit the traits of like lower demons before they'll ever compliment you. And even if that one occasion, you gotta watch out for that compliment. Cause if they, that compliment just means that now they got their eyes set out on you and you now are a target to them. Yeah, they just targeted you out just by saying, hey, yeah, you're gonna be this, you know, I can tell. Chances are that person will go behind scenes, feel some kind of way, and then find a way through a manipulative tactic because they think they're very smart, but they're telling themselves to try to sabotage you because they don't want you to become of what they just said because they know it. If a person's focused on you and what they know about you, or if they see something about you, watch out, especially if they're not already in their highest form. Especially if they're not already loving themselves and doing the shadow work. The people that do not do the shadow work, you have to watch out for these people. The people that are deeply hurted inside and they're copying your style, those are your ops. Let me say it again. The people who do not do the deep work that's rooted inside and they try to copy your style, those people are your ops. Best believe, they're not trying to dress like you because they admire you. They're trying to dress like you because they probably think they're better than you or they probably think that you love yourself too much so they want to feel that, which, it, which means that they're not doing the work because if they wanted to feel something, they would just be themselves. They wouldn't need to be something else to feel that. You would just be yourself. It's just what it is. So that's why when you peep game, when people... That's why when you peep game and a person dresses like you from, I'm talking about from shirt to pants to gloves to hats, I'm talking about that person views you as an op. Or no, that is your opposition at that. And those people will do the extra mile just to try to feel like they can get a lick back. Just to feel like they're winning or something like that because these people are in heaven heavenly competition but the only one you got to compete with is yourself compete with yourself to be greater than your previous self you don't see a donkey competing with an elephant you don't see a fish competing with a turtle you don't see any of that if anything turtle competes with another turtle as to which a donkey competes with another donkey. You don't never see races. All the animals is all mixed up trying to race to the finish line. That's never came to my awareness before. That's why I say, yo, switch up your wardrobe. Yo. Switch up something you know people ain't gonna follow. Who really gonna wear dress shirts? For me, you know what I'm saying? We businessmen. We business owners. We CEOs. So this is meant. God put these people to push you in this type of limelight, in this type of style. Because otherwise, you would have never felt the need to change. You would have never felt the need to, you know, be different than what you were previously. Well, you would never feel the, you would have never felt the need to change something that wasn't broken. Because that's what it is. If it breaks, you're gonna change it. But if it's not broken, you're not gonna change it. You just gonna leave it alone. Just like me, I was smoking marijuana every day for like nine years. Crazy, right? Well, not nine years, but on and off. But I'll take like a month, six months breaks, three months breaks. You know what I'm saying? 
depends on the accessibility of you know the mar marijuana you know like if it had good organic marijuana I would more if it had bad I would sell them sold them like every once in a while but people these people are pushing you to grow because ain't no need to compete with individuals who have not done the work people cannot walk in your shoes but yet they want to walk in your shoes but not have done the work you see what I'm saying so I'm going to switch up my whole style. I ain't going to say, I don't know who's watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to say that no more. <laughs> because, it, because I literally did not know. But these people do know because I guarantee they go into algorithm and they see who's watching the videos. And then they check, oh, do, 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 how long did they watch it for? Yeah, these people are like heavily behind the computer trying to figure out every little bitty thing because this, that's the type of people they are because they're not focused on themselves. They're focused on the opposite. All right, y'all. So I'm out.